Peggy 12. When developing the art style, I really wanted to create a sense of contrast. So it was all about playing off the soft pastel aesthetics with all of the 80s style tech glitches that we wanted to see against the roughness and messiness of the scrap heap. We worked really hard to sort of make sure the player was always aware that they're within a simulation. So we don't want you to forget that there is a girl on the outside and she's the one that's experiencing all of this along with the player. In terms of character inspiration, I really wanted to play with colour palettes. So my favourite colour combination is pink and mint. And so the two main characters that you'll see in this game both have those key colours and that translates into the environment as well. When you look at Arca's Path, it's a game that's not afraid of the colour pink. And when you see it, you know it's Arca's Path, it's no other game. And I'm really, really pleased with that unique visual identity. For the audio in Arcus Path, we're really trying to find a cohesive balance between the music and the sound design. The music in Arcus Path is written by an absolute legend, Rafferty, signed to the Ninja Tunes label, and it's so atmospheric, you know, it's absolutely integral to the whole experience. What I really wanted to make sure was that we were cementing this idea of that you're in a simulation. So at first you get quite a lot of sort of natural sounding environments, but as the kind of simulation starts to break and go a bit, bit wrong, we bring in loads more elements of computerized digital sounds. The core inspiration for the audio design really comes from Rafferty's music. I mean, he delivered us some early um, examples, early demos, and they really inspired me to to realise what the world could be. We found in VR that audio is incredibly important because actually it makes it incredibly immersive and the music is very, very special and we're really, really happy with how it's coming out.